Is he gonna dance with me? Ah! <laughs> this is the international pirate greeting. You just dance in front of each other. You don't really use words as a pirate. You just dance, and that's how you share emotions. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me today. We're playing some more Atlas, and we're leaving our small thatch hut that we built over to spend the night in. And we're going to be sailing to meet up with some of our crew. We're still no pants pirate because we're fighting the establishment. But I want to welcome you to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade. And what we're doing, doodl doodling? What we're doodling is we're not actually saying, sailing far. Wow, I'm doing really good with words. Uh, brain is on point today. What we're doing or doodling is sailing over to the other side here of this island on B2. Now, some of the crew has already gotten to work and we're going to be playing with all of our friends here in this series. So we've got the Nerd Pirate Gang. That's right, NPG has been repurposed to the Nerd Pirate Gang. And we're going to go join up with those guys for some piratey fun and this little instance of Atlas. And it'll allow us the opportunity to get caught up to where we were uh, on a faster scale. Unfortunately, overnight, it seems that my guys manning the sails either mutinied or got way too tired of doing, you know, uh, sitting on the boat stuff. So I've lost them and now I have to sail the ship by myself. But that's not a problem because any pirate worth his beard would be able to do such a thing. I would certainly hope. Uh, we're not doing too bad here. You know, I'm going to sail eventually into the wind when I cut it. And you know what? A short, the shortest distance between two points is kind of a straight line. I could cut through there. But that seems like it might be a little bit too dangerous for me. So we're going to take the scenic route around B2 here. And again, or I'm sorry, around Pirate Disneyland. I keep saying B2 because that's the server that we're on. But Pirate Disneyland is where we're taking the scenic route around. Because this is such a cool map that the crew wanted to build on here again. Now, they did take a really high spot for strategic advantages. We built kind of at the lower tier of the waterfall. They built at the toppest top tier of the waterfall area. And they did it because it's going to be one of the strongest points on almost any map. And very difficult to raid. Because the only way that you could raid a base like that is with explosive barrels. So strategically, it was a very smart move, and I'm excited to go check out what they've done on the base, because I actually haven't seen any of it yet. In fact, I even haven't even gotten into the company yet. I'm still and I'm still companyless. So I'm excited to get all that done today. And once again, I want to welcome you to the channel. Thank you guys for coming to hang. We shouldn't have to go too terribly far, but once we get to the rendezvous point where I'm going to meet up with Nebulosa, we'll get stuck into the trib, become part of the crew, not run into that rock right there and sink my ship. Ooh. Yep, that's right. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> oh, I slowed down. This is nowhere near as epic as I thought it would be. Conditions aren't great. Travel is slow going. I've got dick butter for wind. But at least we've spotted the waterfall now and we're cutting our way into the rendezvous point. And I'm excited to see what the crew has done. Apparently they've got some ships built up in our old spot. And back to having dick butter for wind. All right, let's set our sails in the appropriate spot. Do our circles, rotate sails, and we need about 75. And we're going to need about 75 on this one, too. Hello? Turn it. I guess this one didn't turn either. I'm a bad solo captain. There we go. Now we got a little less dick butter for, for wind and a little bit more movement power. Oh, maybe I can rotate a little bit. <gasps> You know, we're just going to park it here. It's at this point, it's probably faster just to hoof it. We're going to run the, the aw damn aground. And maybe I'll bring treasure maps. It sure is foggy. Awfully creepily foggy, in fact. We're going to run you aground. I'm not going to drop anchor. Okay, now we'll drop anchor. Because it did that. <laughs> it even raised the ship. That was so anticlimactic. I was like, ah, screw it. We'll drop anchor anyway. This... That snake scared the shit. I thought my ship was being destroyed. Uh, we have Nerd Pirate Gang. We're on the right spot. All right, Rattlesnake. You came to the wrong hood today. Oh, oh no, that didn't do it. That didn't do it. What? Oh. 
He's the beefiest rattlesnake in history. There we go. We chopped him. We're going to chop him up, get his scales, bring the, the crew some presents. Take my arrows back. All right, great. Oh, and even get a level up out of the deal. Woohoo! The Nerd Pirate Gang's already got some ships they're working on. I see the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue Ultra Instinct. That is a mighty strong name for a boat. I hope it lives up to its reputation. Oh, these guys have been working their asses off. They've got ships already. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no snakes. No snakes on, on planes. Where's my rendezvous? I'm supposed to meet with a rendezvous. We'll send her a message. We're going to send her a secret message right now. We're going to go to this. Secret message time. Leave a message. <laughs> Neb, meet under waterfall for secret meeting. That everybody's now going to know about. Because it's not so secret anymore. That's right. Pirates don't have secrets. They just have booty. And maybe maybe parrots and monkeys. But I'm under the waterfall. I'm going to wait for my contact. And we're going to get put in this crew. Oh. 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 I think that was my contact. <laughs> I think that was my secret pirate contact. Let's go check it out. Let's investigate this situation. See what we've got here. Maybe she's going to need rescuing. Or a life preserver. Okay, here we go. Oh, I've been requested to join the company. She's putting up her hands. Okay, real quick, real quick. Now come back here. Yes! Oh, dodge! Shoot in the face! Oh, I missed! Now she's fleeing! I got her! Oh, oh, right in the ass. Right up Main Street. Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Thanks for waiting for me to shoot you in the face. She's a, she's just going to be a porky. Right in the ass, maybe. Oh, 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 that was the, oh, okay. I get way too excited over doing pirate stuff. Shooting Neb in the ass was quite entertaining. I'll steal her coconuts. And we are now part of the cruise. So I'm so excited I left myself overboard. Let's climb up the little, whatever this is. And we'll investigate whatever that noise was. Wow, so these guys are already starting a shipyard pretty pretty impressively. I'm going to see what else they've done. Let's see if there's a bed in here. Maybe we can fast travel. Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah, there's a bed in here. There's some quite a bit of stuff. Okay, so let's put my stuff here in the, in the smithy just to drop it off. I hear people sleeping. Uh, we'll stick in my no-pants gear. Stash all this stuff. Okay, and let's take the bed. Oh, yeah, they got this whole place covered. They already got the whole place covered. All right, let's go to here. This is where they told me that they were building. And a resources bed might be the one I should go to. So we're going to fast travel there! And check out all the stuff they've been working on. Okay. Holy hell. Oh, they got a spot up in the sky here. It looks like a floating platform. It just hasn't loaded in for me yet. Oh, yeah, they got a cliff platform there. And, oh, Oh, this looks cool! Oh, this looks really cool! I'm gonna ride the zip line. They've got zip lines set up. This is looking like a pirate fort. This is looking like a real pirate fort. I like it. Hop off. And we're gonna check this sucker out. Oh, they've got the whole thing zip lined. Oh, so they, they really did. They built at the toppest. The toppest. That's a word. They built at the toppest point of Disneyland. The best strategic value. Explosive barrels are the only way that anybody can get into this place. And they're going to have to grapple and or climbing hook, climbing pick their way up to it. This is a, a good spot. This is a very good spot. Oh, I, I already see one weakness, though. We're going to talk about it, because if I don't talk about it, I don't feel like it's necessarily fair. And the one weakness is something that I actually mentioned in another video. It's these guys. Not this one. The stacked foundations. This is a base foundation. 10,000 health. When you start stacking the foundations, they have... 
a severe weakness. They become half health. So that's a prime target for explosive barrels. So far, that's the only weakness that I've spotted, but I don't think you can get really a full-fledged pirate castle built on this without stacking a foundation here or there. I do like what they've done with the wall, so I'm going to explore that a little bit. And it looks really nice so far. These guys have been hard at work. These guys have been really hard at work. All right. I'll see if I can make it up to the, uh, the center building. Okay, third time's the charm. Beastmaster Rip's been hard at work. I saw Benjamin Button doing stuff. This is not the... Oh, there's a resource chest. I might have just given that away. Is he going to dance with me? Ah! This is the International Pirate Greeting. You just dance in front of each other. You don't really use words as a pirate. You just dance. And that's how you share emotions. Moving right along. Let's see what else we got. Uh, how do I get around? Oh, there's the main entrance there. Excuse me. I'm just checking out your crib. It's it's Atlas Cribs. And we're the uh, at the tippy top of Pirate Disneyland. Oh, I like it. Okay, they built the flag right into it. They got another resource chest here. They got... Oh, that's actually kind of smart. So they can shoot down on anybody that's coming in. Interesting. And then there's our way back up. So this is kind of the main basical area. Oh, tons of mortar pastels. All right. Yeah. Uh, I said that we were going to try to progress back to the point that we were in the previous, like, the previous episodes so that the start over didn't really feel like a start over. And in order to do that, we have crewed up with a lot of crew. Uh, and by a lot of crew, I mean a lot of crew. There's 23 members in the trip right now. The Nerd Pirate Gang is 23 strong. And they've made quite a bit of progress already. So I'm excited to see what actually happens in the time to come. But let's see what I can do. Oh, no, I can't get up through there. I don't know why I could, thought I could jump through half walls. I am not lost at all in this beast. Let's see what I could do to contribute. I like the wall. I like the wall a lot. Let's climb up. Ladders. I always get defeated by the ladder boss in one way, shape, or form or another. Let's see what we could do to contribute to the company. Uh, ooh, and maybe even start our own ship. And we could finally get rid of our dam. Because I've got a perfect pirate ship name already locked in the chamber. Ready to roll. Well, we've been tasked with doing whatever the hell we want to do. So I'm going to do one of my favorite things in Atlas. And that's start to work on a ship. Not just any ship, though. We're going to start working on a galleon. So what I'm going to do is take some of the resources that we have here. Boop, 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 boop. Stick it all in here. And we're going to start our galleon frame. Great. Okay, galleon frame is up, ready to go. Oh, what a beautiful thing you are. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. I've respect completely into shipbuilding, so I'm able to do this. And we got to make some planks. Uh, let's see. What are we going to need for you? We're going to need... Definitely some gun ports. Okay, yeah. We need fibers, metals, thatches, and woods. Let's see what we can get out of here. Uh, we've got thatches. We've got no fibers in here. Do we have metals in here? Yes, we have some copper. Metals, do we have woods? Uh, not a whole lot, but I think there's more upstairs. So we're going to get that really quick. We should have woods in here, maybe. No, that's... Oh, metal, though. The only 504. It's not a whole lot. Get out of the feats. There's some more wood for us. Uh, probably take some more thatch. Why not? Five. Ooh, fibers. Uh, okay, there's some, basically nothing in there. Stone, flint, metals. We'll take some more metals just in case. Oh, God, there's basically nothing in there. Well, we're going to get started on our galleon. Not necessarily complete it. Oh, that's not what I want to check. I want to check in here. Oh, good, there's fibers in here. We're going to make some sails while we're at it then. Uh, let's do... Oh, this is where it's got me. Do I do I want to go speed? Yeah, we want it's a galleon. I love my speed sails. We're going to go five speed sails. What am I missing? Hide. Let's put a little bit more hide in there. And we'll do some of that. I I I love my speed sails on my galleon. Uh hides. We've got a little bit of stuff.
And now we're missing woods. Okay, one. Nope, more metal. Two, a three. And that should be the last one. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna take this over to here. We're gonna pop it in and make planks. Now it's gonna take a while to craft all this stuff up, so I'm gonna leave you here. But I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, episode of Atlas. This was a bit of a shorter one. We accomplished quite a bit in the sense of we finally got into, into with the Tribs. And we can start working on things together as a unit. Uh, let's make our gun ports for... Ooh, not a bucket. Let's make our gun ports here. Ooh. This is driving me nuts. Large. Now, now I won't have to do that ping-ponging back and forth, but I went, ran out of resources anyway, so we're going to have to stick that stuff in the smithy. Quality of life mod, stack mod, makes this way more, <laughs> way more forgiving. But like I said, guys, this is where we're going to leave you here. I want to thank you so much for coming to chill with me today. I hope you had fun while we played some Atlas. I hope you're excited to get back to where we were. Have that feeling to being back to where we were in the previous episodes. We're now kind of caught up a little bit in the same location, which I'm pretty happy about. And it's going to be amazing to have this place attacked eventually. And it's under some pretty serious natural defenses. Again, thank you guys so much for coming to hang. If you like this episode enough to drop the thumbs up on it, button on it, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you haven't done so yet, now's the perfect time to subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one. Or don't subscribe. Who the fuck cares? What do I know? Well, what I want you to do, remember to take care of yourselves out there. Stay awesome. And we'll catch you on our next piratey adventure on Atlas.